from his ability to actually drop alongside the two other center backs and form a back three this is one of the roles that Marco Kurella has been performing at Chelsea but of recently we have realized Marco Kurella has performed a role in the midfield position next to Moises Caicedo and that is the controller inverted fullback so this position has showcased another aspect of Marco Kurella's game that we did not get to see and the 5 nil thrashing of West Ham by Chelsea exemplified Marco Kurella's position though this is something that I had noticed not just in this game the 5 nil win that Chelsea had against West Ham showcased dominance and control and I'm going to explain how Chelsea managed to do this especially how Mark Kukurela's new position is giving Chelsea this needed strength and control in the middle of the park. So Mark Kukurela who was signed for very huge fees around 65 million pounds from Brighton a player who Pep Guardiola had initially wanted to sign at Manchester City is showing a side of his game that can be pivotal to see Chelsea finish the season on a high but this strength of Caicedo did not showcase itself yesterday but rather the away game against Aston Villa so in the second half Maurizio Pochettino made a tactical change and decided to deploy Mark Cucurella in an inverted fullback position and we saw in that second half performance how Chelsea were able to stifle Aston Villa lock them deep within their half and actually control the game from Aston Villa so what is control Pep Guardiola a manager who has won the Premier League multiple times and is looking forward to win the Premier League again this season is a manager who has exemplified this inverted fullback position a position whereby a fullback doesn't play his natural fullback position but rather comes in field and tries to give his team control in the midfield regions and i'm going to explain this tactically how it's done from this clip you can see how chelsea are in controlled phases of possession you can see chelsea's high three at the back line and kukurela who's playing alongside caicedo in midfield giving chelsea five man in the build-up and five man in attack quite a balanced system so people have asked why did Maurizio Pochettino not use this setup earlier on in the season but Maurizio Pochettino has actually defended himself in his press conference by saying that you cannot sit on a chair without having to build a chair meaning that he thought that Chelsea were not ready for this before we start our analysis do not forget to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this so Chelsea's main uh, formation is usually a 4-2-3-1 with Mark Cucurella starting as the left back. So traditionally how Chelsea used to build up in the def we are going to look at how Chelsea build up in the defensive midfield and in their final third because this will showcase how Chelsea deploy Mark Cucurella in all these three phases of play. So Mark Cucurella in this left back position where he has been in contention with Ben Chilwell but recently has seen him being the first choice so Chelsea used to uh, build from the back by having their fullback starting high and wide center backs dropping alongside Petrovic and most likely Caicedo being the deepest pivot looking to try to receive the ball from either side of play but this system has actually provided Chelsea with a lot of problems with sometimes teams intercepting the ball and actually forcing Chelsea to go long but in this game I saw an quite an interesting strategy of how Maurizio Pochettino managed to build from the back and this is very interesting and that is the use of Mark Cucurella so Mark Cucurella has been very vital for Chelsea coming in field and forming that double pivot alongside Moises Caicedo you can see from this clip here Mark Cucurella has come in field and is playing as a double pivot close to Moises Caicedo giving Chelsea center backs an outlet to play the ball through the middle now this gives opposition a lot of problems because now Chelsea are able to have a five-man during build-up using Petrovic as also an extra player 
pushing Gallagher and Col Palmer high up the pitch. But in the game against West Ham, what we started to see is that the two pivots did not start close to goal and rather started to play slightly wider. And I'm going to explain how Chelsea achieved this. So when West Ham tried to press Chelsea aggressively high up the pitch, I was really fascinated with how Pochettino improved Chelsea. Precisely the use of Thiago Silva. Long time ago, opponents knew how to effectively press Chelsea, win the ball off Chelsea and begin to transition from their defensive side of play to their attacking side of play. But in this game, we saw how Chelsea were building the play in a controlled manner and partly this happened because of the position of Kukurela. So Kukurela would shift from the fullback position and come in field and Thiago Silva who was also very very good in this game would drop and play in this anchor position giving Chelsea a four-man build-up strategy. Look at this clip. Chaloba and Badiashile have dropped alongside Petrovic giving him options and Thiago Silva has positioned himself just outside the defensive position. This is very important because now Chaloba who's not a, a fullback playing in this position automatically draws a winger to press him and allowing Noni Madueke to drop deep, receive the ball and look to pull the to have a 1v1 against a fullback which is something that Noni Madueke fancies a lot. But the position of Kukurela is very important because now Chelsea have numerical advantage throughout the middle of the pitch. So how Chelsea build from this position was quite interesting because now the center backs could receive the, bo the ball with little or no pressure and sometimes Petrovic could find Kukurela in this midfield position and Kukurela in these positions will try to effectively progress Chelsea from their build-up side to their attacking side. Like in this clip, you can see that the centre-backs have found Kukurela and Kukurela is now turning with the ball because uh, a midfielder had picked Kaisedo. Kukurela is free, he drives with the ball in midfield and is able now to play the ball to Noni Madueke and you can see Palma making a run trying to drag the full-back out of the way. Now, because of Kukurela's inside structure, even if opponents mark Kaisedo, Kukurela is very comfortable on the ball and is able to help Chelsea build play with his short passes as well as trying to play those ambitious passes over the top for the runs of the wingers and the fullbacks. And this really, really gave West Ham a lot of problems because they could not understand how they should press Chelsea. Also, Kukurela was not afraid to carry the ball forward when he was not pressed and look to try and link up with players ahead of him, which is also another key and interesting facet of an inverted fullback. Now, Chelsea having their wingers wide, 1v1 with the fullbacks was also quite interesting. And down the left, this was also giving Chelsea a lot of strength and I will be very eager to see when Raheem Sterling gets back into this team and actually starts down the left because I believe his dribbling ability combined with Noni Madueke will give Chelsea a lot of dynamism in the wide areas and give Chelsea a lot of strength. Now, it, because Chelsea was so effective with the way they created those central overloads during build-up, West Ham decided to sit deeper. So again, we look at Kukurela's role in the midfield third position. So what happened is that we know that Pochettino wants his double, one of his double pivots to push forward and help the left hand flank. And this will see Gallagher moving to occupy the left half space. This will be aided because Kukurela is comfortable vacating his fullback position and coming in field and playing close to Caicedo with uh, Chaloba tucking in and forming a back three with Silva and Benoit. And you can see here clearly the position of Mark Kukurela in this team. He's playing in that inverted position. Now he has dragged a marker out of, uh, away from Caicedo and you can see now Badiashile can play a simple pass and Caicedo can receive the ball in space. He's also using his dummy position to create spaces for Caicedo to receive the ball. You can see in this 3 to 5 structure, opponents are not sure who they should mark. Should they press the three center backs? Because if they do press them, then the midfield region they are overloaded with four players because Chelsea has formed that box midfield. 
Recently, I've been talking about how Chelsea don't usually attack down the left. And Chelsea's reliance down the right makes them so predictable. But we have seen with this inclusion of, uh, Palm, of uh, Kukurela in, uh, in, the left, in midfield has opened up Chelsea's left flank. And how has this happened? Because Kukurela starts in this midfield position, allows Gallagher or whoever plays alongside Quesedo to play slightly forward in that half space, opening up space for the left-sided midfielder. Kukurela is also not afraid to receive the ball in advanced areas of the pitch and look to play in Mikhailo Mudrik. And position of Gallagher in this position enables Mudrik to receive the ball with time and space. You can see Kukurela because he's using his left foot in the middle of the pack. Majority of the times he's trying to open up Chelsea's left. He receives the ball plays the ball to Mudrik and Mudrik is receiving the ball in space and Kono Gallagher is occupying that half space position though I would prefer Gallagher to be making that run to try and pull the fullback away from Mikhailo Mudrik. Now uh, Mudrik receives the ball and plays the ball back to Kukurela and now Kukurela could have the opportunity to play Mudrik if Mudrik made a run or when Gallagher would have made a run down that left side. And this is one of the advantages of having a left back in these kind of defensive situations. When opponents try to cover Moises Caicedo and deny him space on the ball, then Kukurela becomes an option. And because opponents underrated his position, you can see him here. He receives the ball. And once he receives the ball directly from the center back, he is receiving the ball unmarked. You don't see a lot of midfielders trying to crowd him out because midfielders are more concerned to deny Caicedo that space. Kukurela is able to receive the ball in space and be able to turn and now he's turning looking at West Ham with options ahead of him. He's not turning when he has been marked but rather with a lot of space. Kukurela in this position again is able to turn and now West Ham are left in a dilemma whether they should push forward and press Kukurela and free up Gallagher and Palmer to receive the ball in the spaces in between the lines or to sit off and try to cover those spaces. Jackson drops deep. Kukurela plays that ball to Jackson, but again, we can see that Gallagher is not making that run beyond Jackson. If he made that run, then the return ball would be very good if Kukurela would play the ball over the top for the runs of Gallagher. You can see these kinds of positions were very important for Kukurela in this position because now he's able to influence the game from this position because he's receiving the ball with time and space. And this is one emphasizes one key strength of Kukurela because majority of inverted fullbacks are not good on the ball. He is. When teams decide to sit on both of them, then the likes of Palmer can drop deep and receive the ball directly from the center backs. Something that we saw Palmer do time and time again in this game. And this has given Chelsea a lot of numerical advantages in this game. Now, this has also created a lot of problems for opponents because now if they use their midfielders to sit on the two Chelsea's attacking number 10s high up the pitch, then it leaves space for these double pivots to influence the game. And if they choose to have their uh, forwards to sit on them, then they deny themselves that counter-attacking threat and allow Chelsea's wide centre-backs to receive the ball and actually carry the ball forward. Something that we saw Chaloba doing excellently and because Kukurela is in this deeper position inverted it allows Chelsea to have space on other areas of the pitch that they would not normally have and these are one of the advantages that Kukurela's inversion gives Chelsea also him being in this position gives Chelsea numerical advantage especially around their build-up because now they have five players during their build-up and not only this gives numerical advantages in build-up but also in the middle of the pack because now they have that box shaped midfield and they are able to circulate the ball between all the four midfielders with Gallagher, Palmer and uh, Caicedo and Kukurela and Kukurela's left foot opens up Chelsea's left hand side and opens up that position in midfield that was normally closed and his ability to thread in through balls is one of his greatest strengths. You can see here West Ham are trying to press Chelsea. You can see Kukurela is receiving the ball but Kukurela is able to play a penetrative line breaking pass and break West Ham's midfield line and find Chelsea in that 
attacking uh, line you can see here kukurela has played the pass and that pass has been played in between west ham's midfield line and he's playing that pass to jackson and by just one pass chelsea have transitioned from the build-up phase to the attacking phase jackson is receiving the ball and you can already see runners making runs but again i was not fascinated with Gallagher in this game because he was not giving a lot of optionality for Chelsea especially in that left half space position and because of these through balls we started to see uh, uh, Kukurela playing close to Caicedo and also see Caicedo's game improve so not only is Kukurela's inverted position a very huge strength for Chelsea when they have possession but also a very huge strength for Chelsea without the ball and this is the most important role why I am happy with Kukurela's position. I've been talking about how Caicedo has been isolated in midfield. But Kukurela is not afraid to step out and win the ball and immediately look to play the ball forward. And also, he's not afraid to cover for Moises Caicedo's in this position. You can see from this clip, opponents are trying to... Uh, play through Chelsea and you can see Kudos is trying to make that run. You can see Kukurela has anticipated that pass and is ready to actually step in and win the ball since Caicedo has failed. He makes a sublime tackle and Chelsea immediately regain possession in this phase. Something that I've not seen Enzo Fernandez doing quite well when he plays alongside Moises Caicedo in midfield. So questions now being asked uh, with regards to Caicedo and Enzo with problems really showcasing itself when Chelsea are without the ball because Caicedo really suffered trying to cover an entire midfield by himself but with Mark Kukurela we are seeing one key interesting factor Caicedo having a player who's close to him in that if Caicedo goes in for a tackle or tries to win the ball and loses the ball there's a player behind him ready to win the ball and stop the counter attack from the source you can see here Kukurela uh, Caicedo is trying to win the ball and stop West Ham's counter attack you can see he has already pushed forward and you can look at the position of Kukurela. He's just behind Caicedo ready to receive that ball in case Caicedo is beaten. Caicedo is beaten by Kudus and Kukurela is in the right place at the right time to win Chelsea the ball. And now he just heads the ball back and Chelsea move from a counter-attacking situation to a position where they regain possession well. Again, you can see Chelsea have committed players forward to try and press and 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 score a goal against west ham kukurela has stayed just at the edge of the box so when the loose ball is played he's able to receive this ball and look to play the ball back to mudrick and restart and continue chelsea's attacking patterns this is something that we have not seen with chelsea in throughout the season we saw when chelsea lost the ball opponents will just be running at their back line here again Chelsea have lost possession and Kukurela's infield in position is enabling them is enabling Kukurela to excellently read where the ball is being played wins the ball directly in these kinds of position and is now looking to play the ball back and allow Chelsea to regain their structure and continue to build from the back this is very very impressive considering how Chelsea was so porous in the midfield region now, the position of Kukurela in this midfield position is very, very crucial. And he's also, he also knows when to stay deep, allow the opponent time and with the ball, and use his excellent reading of the game to make interceptions and cut passing lanes that could lead to counter-attacks. And this gives Chelsea a lot of numerical advantages. He also understands when Gallagher is dropping deep to defend and when to drop deep and go back to his left back position and cover the left wing. Something that has enabled him to stop West Ham from playing in that position. You can see West Ham are trying to transition through the left. Kukurela has already shifted back to the left and has already won that duel. And now Chelsea's defense is back. And that's why Chelsea actually has managed to make back-to-back -back clean sheets when Kukurela was used in this position. So Pep Guardiola's uh, in, uh, need for Kukurela was because he understood Kukurela could play this position better than Zinchenko. Not only is Kukurela better than Zinchenko in this position, he's more defensively astute and he's a better passer of the ball than Zinchenko in this inverted position. And also to emphasize this, the injury to the injury to 
Enzo Fernandez has also come in at the right time and actually somewhat a blessing in disguise for Chelsea because now Chelsea can see how they can build a team that can actually be strong without the ball. Chelsea have conceded a lot of balls due to transitions and this is because of Enzo wavering forward during attack. So, Mark Kukurela is now imagining himself as one of the key players for Chelsea and a player who Chelsea greatly need in this position. So, I'm going to do a video and, and, and uh, dictate how Pochettino can use, uh, can use this inverted role when Kukurela is not there. Maurizio Pochettino is trying to end the season in a strong note, trying to aim either for the fifth or the sixth position in the Europa League. Will he manage to do it? And I'm going to thoroughly analyze Maurizio Pochettino's first season at Chelsea. If you've enjoyed this analysis, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.